thank you for coming on over to my YouTube channel for this video. I hope you are all well. I'm bringing today a Valentine's outfit video. Um, obviously, here in the UK anyway, I'm not sure where you're watching or what the situation is, but we can't go out um, for Valentine's Day. So we're bringing the party inside and celebrating indoors. And it's just a really nice excuse to get dressed up and yeah, put on some nice glam clothes for a change. So I'm really excited again to be partnering with Nord Green for this first section of the video. So if you're not familiar with Nord Green already, they are a Danish brand that really cares for their people and environment and that goes from everything from the production to the delivery it's all done in a sustainable way so you can embrace a bit of self-love and treat yourself to one of their lovely watches i have a discount code for you you can just use the code lydia capitals just lydia very simple and um, to get 15 percent off so one of the ways they really care about their environment is through their packaging they have such beautiful packaging you'll see in the cutaways uh, in a bit more detail but it's made from upcycled plastic bottles and FSC certified cartons and their shipping is also carbon neutral so basically they plant thousands of trees to offset their carbon emission generated by their office in Copenhagen. So the watch I'm wearing today is the native silver watch with a white face. These come in different kind of colour variations and I also have the plain black strap with the silver um, detail there. Just as another variation, if you didn't want to wear the all silver, you could get the plain black strap as well just with that little bit of silver detail on it. Another thing to note is that Nord Green have a giving back programme and they donate to three global NGOs. One is Water for Good, which means they give two months of clean water to a person in the Central African Republic. Another is Pretham UK, which means they give one month of free education to a child in India. And their third one is Cool Earth, which protects 50 square meters of rainforest in Latin America. And amazingly, in 2020, Nord Green donated 33,000 months of education, 64,000 months of clean water, and protected 900,000 square meters of rainforest. So they really are doing so much to help out both the environment and like I say, the people of the world as well. So in terms of design, it's very minimal and chic, a little bit of a feminine edge, but nothing too out there. So they're really, really wearable and versatile. I personally love the all silver and the black as well for more evening outfits, which is why I've chosen these for my Valentine's looks. I think they just look really chic, particularly with silver jewelry that I'm wearing today. Um, it just really stands out and it's still timeless, elegant and chic. And Nord Green, of course, will be in the description box so you can explore all their styles. One of my favorites definitely is the native, but you can see what takes your fancy and don't forget, use the code Lydia for that 15% discount, absolutely vital. So let us get into the Valentine's looks. As usual, I'll be showing you the full outfit, explaining why I like it and just a bit of variation for what you could wear, whether you're celebrating indoors or outdoors. So outfit number one is the top I was just wearing then. It's from Lovies and it was from, mm, I'd say about two years ago now. So it won't be available, but I'll try and find something similar. I mean, essentially it's just a high neck, long sleeve, black satin blouse. And I paired it with these Karen Millen jeans because if you are spending Valentine's at home, you may not want to go all out dressy. So I thought I'd kind of strike that balance between nice pretty top and then some jeans. These are really good style and shape, by the way. So I'm hoping these will still be available. In terms of shoes, I've gone for these kind of slip on style mules from Zara years ago. Again, I'll link something similar. And then I've got my Carillo bag on with it. Just works so well all together with the Nord Green watch. This bag is so cool. I absolutely love it. It's just something really different in statement. And if you like me and have a wardrobe of very toned down simple things, then um, an injection of a bag like this really works wonders. And I know I talk about it a lot, but accessories for me are a really easy way to upgrade your outfit and um, for me it's something I focus on when I'm purchasing. So yeah, outfit number one, quite simple, classic um, and also a little bit comfy as well. These jeans are really comfortable. A good one if you're just chilling at home but want to look quite dressy. Okay, so this outfit, one of my favourite and easy combinations is a bit of an oversized blazer, uh, belted, 
with some boots, just so simple. I'm wearing some black leggings, these are from Topshop. And then these boots from Zara, I noticed they were in the sale. Now, they could be sold out and if they are, I'll find something similar, but if they're not, I'll still link them. And then my And Other Stories blazer, which I've had for years, but they still have similar kind of vibes to this. And I really recommend the And Other Stories ones. They're really good, although they're probably a bit pricier than other high street brands, I think it's worth that investment, particularly some, for something um, like a black blazer that you'll get so much wear out of. I've had this for a couple of years now and it's still not gone out of style. And then this amazing new belt from Arquette, which I'm just obsessed with. So cool. And I think just adding, like I've mentioned, just adding a really good accessory like that completely transforms the outfit. And of course the watch to blend in with the silver tones, the silver hardware on the belt and then the silver jewellery as well. Obviously, it will all be linked. It's all from my collection with North School and will be linked below um, as part of our new silver range, which has come out just in time for Valentine's Day. So yeah, really nice, easy, kind of streamlined date night look that is simple but effective, I think. Okay, so here I am in some colour. Just kidding. Um, I'm classing white as a colour here. It's a bit different from an all black outfit. Um, but love this look. I've well, kind of worn this before, but in a bit more of a dress down way. So I thought I'd style it up. I love this pencil skirt so much. I got it from Naked Fashion. Not sure if it's still around. Again, I'll link similar. And the same with the padded t-shirt, that's from there too. But obviously there's so many of these going around. I just feel like, on, I know it's kind of a done trend, um, but I do think they're still cool. And if you want to wear a white t-shirt, I just think this is a really nice alternative especially if you want to look a little bit more dressed up. Um, and it's also, again, really comfortable, but you've got the skirt option here. You could put some leather trousers on with this as well, but I just thought I'd go for the skirt, something a bit different. I've got these strappy sandals on from Mango a few years ago, and I think the diamantes just go really nicely with all the silver features. And I've also added um, my Racine necklace um, from my collection with North School as well just to give it a little bit of something around the neckline. It's quite a simple um, monochromatic outfit, so I thought I'd inject a bit of jewels around the necklace, and again, just ties in with the watch really nicely. So yeah, actually a really big fan of this outfit, something I might actually wear myself on Valentine's. Okay, so mixing it up with a knitted dress, slightly. It's still black, but you know, something a bit different. Um, so this is from Pretty Lavish. When I looked last time, I couldn't find it, so I'll link something as similar as possible. Um, it's got this lovely clap cap sleeve, and I think, again, a knitted dress you just cannot go wrong with, especially if it's um, an inside the house kind of date night. It's really comfortable, but still looks chic at the same time, and there's loads of different ways you can wear this. If you want to dress it down a bit more, you could wear some flat boots with it, for example, or you could wear some heeled boots, some sandals like I've got on. These are just from Topshop a while ago now. I'll try and find something similar. Got this Arquette belt on with it as well, which I just think adds a bit of extra something. Um, and then the silver jewelry as well to tone in with it. And then the black leather strap of the watch. Again, just really simple but effective. And I think these little touches, like the accessories, I spoke so much about this in a recent video, but the accessories and these little extra bits really go such a long way. Um, so say if I just had this knitted dress on with no accessories whatsoever and just the shoes, I think it would look a bit simple, um, but I really think just all these extra added touches, those finite details, really elevate and emphasize the look. So if you wanted to keep it quite casual, but still um, make a bit of an effort, I thought I would inject a pop of color and just some cozy knitwear. This is kind of a really easy one to throw together. It's this knit from Me and M, which is just such a cozy, oversized knit. And I love the pink for a change. I just think it looks really bold against the black. And then I've got these kind of slightly flared trousers on from Naked Fashion. They're like a waxy kind of trouser. Um, I've put my Arquette bag with it just to give it a bit of extra something. You may not be needing a bag, but um, I just thought I'd add it on for effect. And then I've got my strappy Topshop heels with it. Just like I say, really easy one. These trousers are so comfortable. I hope I can find these. Um, but just sort of like a really easy one to throw on and still be really comfortable. You're at home, you just want to be relaxed, but it's just that one step further. And you could swap the sandals out 
some trainers or boots and make it a really nice daytime outfit. So yeah, just thought I'd include something a little bit more casual as well. And finally, another simple yet effective outfit for Valentine's Day. So again, if you want to keep it casual, pop a pair of dark denim jeans on. These are from Zara. Um, and then a pair of heels, heels and jeans, such an easy combination to look kind of casual, chic, effortless style. And then this knit is from Forth and Reckless. It's like a sweetheart neckline, which I think is really pretty um, and quite feminine. And then the silver necklace, silver chain necklace kind of contrasts that a little bit. And then I've gone for a red lip. I thought I've got to do an outfit with a red lip. For a Valentine's video. And then my Arquette bag just to kind of tie it all together, show you how I'd wear this. But yeah, like I say, this is just a really simple but effective outfit. It's essentially a rib knit jumper, some jeans and a pair of heels. Really easy to recreate and hopefully we'll give you some inspo. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and really liked the outfits. If you did, don't forget to press that subscribe button. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one.